What is going on guys? This is Rich here back with another review and today we're going to be talking about a shoe that isn't the most popular with everybody just because of how many releases that they've done. I'm still a fan of this model. I love seeing when they come out with new colorways or re-releasing old colorways and today we have one that's the latter. So we're going to be talking about the Yeezy 350 V2 in the flax colorway. So this Yeezy is not a brand new colorway. These actually released back in late 2022, but they were only available uh, in Asia and Africa. They were a region exclusive back when Adidas and Yeezy used to do a lot of those um, region releases where there were only certain colorways, you know, available here and then some available there. Uh, this one was Asia and Africa specific, but they've done a couple of exclusive access uh, restocks and now they've done one where this one has now become available everywhere not just over there but also um, in the US and first impressions of the colorway this is not a bad colorway at all especially for somebody who wants something a little bit uh, more bright with different variations of colors uh, throughout now 350 v2s is one of my favorite shoes period i love this model i think it's still very stylish i think it still looks good on foot there's so many different options variations flavors to this model and i know a lot of people have kind of moved on from this uh, but a lot of those people i think they were just more enamored with the hype than the actual model but for people who really like a very comfortable stylish shoe this is one of the greatest out there. Um, and re-releasing this colorway and giving people more uh, chances to get these colorways that were either region exclusive or super limited, I think is a big bonus. So with this one, it's definitely more of an earth tone color uh, throughout the shoe, but then you do have this nice translucent stripe, which is more of like a yellowish green. Uh, you do have the pull tab, which some people love, some people don't like. Either way, I'm fine with it. The pull tab is in a greenish colorway. Um, and then of course you do have the boost sole, uh, sole, but it is more of like a two-tone boost sole that looks like it's kind of painted green if I'm looking correctly, uh, but it's definitely a very clean colorway, especially for somebody who's looking for something uh, that's a little bit more neutral that you can wear with a lot of different things. Uh, I do think that uh, this is a very good and strong colorway for somebody um, in that field. Other than that, if you, you know, if you've worn a 350 V2 or seen a 350 V2 before, um, other than the colorway, everything is exactly the same. Uh, you still get that same comfort that you get throughout all the 350 V2s. I do think that the compact ones are more comfortable than these, uh, but these are still extremely comfortable. You can wear them all day with no worries of your feet aching or you know or getting tired. Uh, it's just a great shoe to have overall and definitely one that I feel, even if it's not this colorway, that you should have in your day-to-day -day rotation. As far as sizing, they fit just like every other 350 V2 out there. So my recommendation is going up a half size. Uh, these do fit snug. So if you go true to size, you will have a snug fit. Uh, so if you go up half a size, you should have just the amount of breathability room, but still a good snug foot, uh, foot, so <laughs> fit. So if you want to get these or you're getting any of these, go with your usual easy size. If this is your first V2, that would be up half a size and you should be good. Resale wise, there's no resale. Just like every other 350 uh, V2 that releases, some people think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. So if you are someone who struck out, these have gone down, especially because these are re-released. These are not the first time we've seen this colorway. Um, so this is a perfect time to buy. But if you're somebody who got these for just regular retail, congrats, don't hold them, don't do any of that stuff. If you're not gonna keep them, just get rid of them, get your money back. Uh, but for people who are looking to buy, this is the perfect time to buy. So as far as my final thoughts, I know the video isn't too long, but there really isn't much to say. I mean, if you've seen one 350 V2, you've seen them all. If you've worn one, you've worn them all. There's not much, in, there's not much more to say about this, but the colorway, is a strong colorway. I like the variations of colors throughout it, but it still is a earth tone. Uh, so you can definitely wear it with a lot of different outfits, which I think is always a plus with Yeezys. Uh, I think it's a great buy. If you're someone that's into this model and into this colorway, go ahead and get them. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other colorways or re-releases that they come out with, uh, with the Yeezy brand. So that is pretty much it. Let me know in the comments, did you pick this colorway up? Did you pass? Are you over 350 V2s? I get it, not everybody likes these, but I still am a fan of the shoe and I still look forward to new releases. Let me know all that in the comments and if you're new to the channel, make sure to give a like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. 
it all helps. Uh, but other than that, this has been Rich. Thank you guys again for taking the time to check out the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.